In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the correlation coefficient for your data for two variable statistics. First, make sure that you have your data open and follow along with this video and click on the two variable statistics tab. The first thing that we want to do then is we want to insert a column between the years and your data. So I'm going to click on column B and insert left. So then my year column will be right next to my new column that I'm going to name year by number. And then make sure that your years are listed from least to greatest. If you have to move anything around, just make sure that you change and move the year with the statistic that goes with that year. Um, and you want them least to greatest because your oldest year should be year zero. And then going forward each year, we're just going to increase by one. So 2006 was year zero. So 2007 would be one, 2008 is two, and so forth. And it is totally okay if you have different years, just make sure that your oldest year is year zero. Then the next thing that we want to do is whenever, eventually I'm going to graph this, my year by number, that's going to be my X axis. So I'm going to go ahead and label that. And then remember, if you go up to the top and double click, it'll expand your column. And then that means that my Warriors three point field goal percentage, that's going to be what goes on the Y axis. And again, double click to expand the column. Now, the reason that's important is my y-axis variable is my dependent variable. So the three point percentage is based off of or is dependent on the year. So the x-axis is my independent variable. So if we calculate our correlation coefficient, pick a box and label it, and then there is a formula that will automatically calculate this for us. So it is possible to calculate it by hand, but for this class, we're just going to use the Google Sheet formula. You're going to put in equals and C-O-R-R-E-L for correlation, and it should pop up and say Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient, and you can click on that. And it'll show you that I need my data or for my y value and i'm going to select the range for that so i can just click and drag all of my data and then i can hit comma and then i also need my x data so select your x data next and just make sure that you select it in that appropriate order and i missed a cell so i can just go back and reselect it again and it'll override it. Close my parentheses and hit enter. I do not want to do autofill, so I'm going to hit the X there. The other thing I want to do is I want this to be th to three digits. So right now I have like 10 digits. If I click on that box up at the top, these two buttons, um, this one decreases decimal places, this one increases. So I want to decrease it until I only have three numbers after the decimal point. Now, one thing that I want to show you is it automatically will round it for you. So right now it's 0 0.6509, but if I get rid of another one, it automatically rounds it for me. So that's pretty convenient. Now the question is, what does this actually mean? And so correlation co coefficient is telling you how strong is the relationship between the years and the percentage. So has the team been getting better over time or are they getting worse over time or what does that mean so i'm gonna flip over to look at some graphs so we can briefly talk about that correlation coefficient is the variable r let's go ahead and add that in here my r value is 0.651 if your R value is exactly one, you have a perfect positive relationship. If you have 
an R value that's negative one, you have a perfect negative correlation. So your correlation coefficient is always going to be between negative one and positive one. If your correlation is zero, that means that there's absolutely no relationship at all. So if we look at this letter G, this is really close to zero because the points are all over the place. So it's not even close to being in a straight line. Letter H is also zero because it's curved. So it's like that, like if this was for a basketball team, it's like they were getting better and then all of a sudden they got worse. So there's not really a relationship of them constantly increasing over time or decreasing over time. Some of the other values I want to show you is like B, this is showing that our points are pretty close and it's increasing in a positive direction pretty strongly. So it's at the R value 0.9. If it's like letter C, we can still see it's increasing. It's just not as strong, so 0 0.4. So a recommendation that I would have is if it's over 0 0.7, you can say that it's a strong relationship. If it's between 0.4 and 0.7, it's moderate. Um, and if it's anything below 0.4, it's a weak relationship. So for our data, we're going to say that this shows a moderate positive relationship. If it would have been R was 0 0.75, I would say it's a strong positive relationship. And basically what we can see is that since... 2006, if we look at all of the years, their three-point field goal percentage slowly increased on average over time. If your value is negative, so if this was a negative 0 0.651, then you would say this shows a moderate negative relationship. So if it was from negative 0 0.7 to negative 1, it's a strong relationship, but it's a strong negative relationship.